So first you have to undo all of the metal caps on the edge of the sinks. Um, and then the metal caps and the gaskets kind of center around the hole. So you have a gasket on top and bottom and you're just going to screw those onto the base. And then this is for the sprayer. So it's the same system. Here I am just unscrewing the um, brass gasket and gasket cap. And then you have to um, assemble the little aerator and then just throw the top sprayer onto the hose. After that, it's really easy. The hose just goes through the mounting and then onto your sink. And then you are going to hook that hose back up to the main faucet. That way you can use the sprayer. Um, it also comes with a cap. If you don't have a sprayer or if you don't want to use a sprayer, you can just throw a brass cap on there and call it a day. You don't have to have anything for that. There's also a weight, which is that black thing that goes on the um, tubing so that it doesn't weigh it down. This is a really easy release. Um, that is how the tubing hooks up to the main faucet. And then you can use those. Those are the hot and cold wires or the hot and cold pipes. Um, I just use the ones that were already in my sink previously, but they do come with new ones. And then you just want to make sure that you use plumber's tape on all of the seals so that you have a nice, um, tight, watertight seal. And then here I am just undoing the aerators. All right, guys, so we went ahead and installed the sink. Um, you want to make sure that you use plumber's tape and you really make sure that everything is tightened so that way you don't have any water leaks. Uh, they did recommend to take off the aerators both on the sink faucet. So this is the aerator for that. Um, as you can see, this is just a little aerator that you can like take out and clean if that gets gunky over time due to mineralization. And then this is the aerator of the sprayer. So I went ahead and took both of those off and then they want to want, want you to run the water um, on both the sink and the sprayer for about one to two minutes each with both the hot and cold waters on to really clear out any debris or anything that could have gotten in the water line. It's going to look much cleaner once you have the aerator on. And then same again for the sprayer. It just has one uh, button on the back here and this button turns it on and off. So I can click it and the sprayer will turn on. And then once you click it again, it goes back to the sink. So pretty cool. Okay guys, so I put both of the aerators back on the sink and the sprayer and I am gonna show you the final product. It comes out really nice, a really nice solid stream. Um, I think it looks super classy. I love the color. I also love that this is movable so you can kind of switch if you have a double sink like me. Um, you can switch between the two very easily. Um, the faucet handles are really nice. I love that there's nothing like plastic. Everything is made out of the brass, so it just feels really nice quality. It's super shiny, super colorful, um, but not too yellow. And then the sprayer is really cool. I love that it's a one button um, that you can just press and it sprays. It is very powerful. Um, you really get a lot of spray and it just works super well. And the other cool thing is that it does come on this kind of swivel bottom. So it definitely will um, like stay intact over time. You don't have to worry about the hose itself breaking down. So overall, I am super happy with this. Um, the install took about 30 minutes overall. Um, I think it really gives a facelift to the kitchen and I can't wait to use this every day. Thanks.